Welcome to this week's Vintage Hall Show and Tell. It's a really exciting one and I cannot wait to show you. This week I'm going to show you all my reclamation vintage that I've been collecting ever since I moved here to Star Corner about seven years ago. My elegantly knackered style means that I don't like things totally perfect and I really love vintage pieces in my home. Ever since we moved here I've been collecting reclamation and bits and pieces and finally we're at the point where we're looking at everything and seeing where we can actually put it in the home. I'll start off with a few garden pieces and then we'll move on to something else and you'll see a bit of a theme developing. But to start with, look at this. This is a Victorian cold frame lid and I've actually got six of these which we'll be using on a reclaimed greenhouse that we're going to build actually in this garden. And then these just might look like some old rocks, but actually they're cobbles. We bought these, probably one of the first things we bought when we moved to Star Corner, and I've got a whole bag full. And one of the things I love in my house, in my garden, is to create texture, have lots of different textures and colors. And these are just going to look amazing somewhere in the garden. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use them yet, but these will make a special feature. Many of the projects here at Star Corner have been years in the planning and these aluminium grates are going to be perfect if our planned orangery ever comes to fruition. I'm always on the lookout, no matter where I am, whether I'm here in Norfolk or on holiday in France, I'm always on the lookout for bits and pieces. And these two sinks are a good example. Firstly, this one, ignore all the muck, it's been sitting outside. We picked this one up in Woodbridge in Suffolk. You can see that it's crazed, but hopefully this will be an outdoor sink in our outdoor kitchen. And this one, we picked up in a reclamation yard in France. I just absolutely fell in love with the shape. I think it's really pretty. So this is either going to go in the utility room or the downstairs cloakroom. Not sure yet, but I just couldn't leave it. So it came home with us when we were on holiday. from our French travels. These are two taps that we picked up in France. We've actually got two sets of these, so we're hoping to use these in our ensuite. I believe that they need an extra cuff here and cuff here, so we need to look into how these are going to work. But they're stunning, absolutely stunning. And you push them down to work. Really hope we can use those because I just think they're really unusual and really different and I just love the end there. We may be doing our renovation on a budget but I really do want the best I can afford so we hunt out quality bits and pieces and if it has to be secondhand even better. So this is a Lefroy Brook tap set which I believe we bought on eBay. This is going to go into our bathroom. It's in a fabulous condition and we're toying with the idea of stripping off the chrome and taking it back to brass but um, we haven't decided yet but again this is probably, we probably had this for about five years and it's just been waiting for a bath to be installed and the quality just feels so good. It's really, really nice. All our doors within Star Corner are old, original doors, or we've bought them at reclamation yards. And of course, therefore, we don't want to put on shiny new handles. So we go around the country collecting doorknobs. We've got a few here. I know there's more in the shed of doom 
two. We just need to find them. So we've got those ones. And these ones are a recent purchase, which I know you saw. We bought these in Chiswick only last month, I think it was. So I've got a pair of those too. And these just add to the character of the house. I know some people love matching doorknobs and everything to be matching and, and new, but that's not my style. So odd doorknobs is the way to go as far as I'm concerned. And then the final thing today is again, I believe this was a French find. I can't remember now. Oh no, I know where this came from. Mark's dad picked this up in France. He used to have a house in France and he bought this. So we bought it from him. And it's just a beautiful lock, which we're going to use on one of the doors. It's just got so much character. We're getting to a really exciting part of the renovation now where we can actually start using some of this and installing it. And we've got bits of vintage all over the house and reclamation in the garden. So it's going to get more and more excited. So please keep watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And please give the thumbs up to this video too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.